Welcome everybody, Steve here. I'm going to start bringing uh, a, a, a different segment to my uh, uh, YouTube channel, Cool Cars. And a lot of times vehicles go by me and I'm not doing any work on them so you know you don't get to see some of the real cool cars that I actually get to see every once in a while. This one here, you've seen me do a little bit of work on it here and there. This is my brother's uh, 67 Chevy short box and this one here is it's like a lot of other builds there's half a dozen vehicles involved and you put it all together now a 67 short box four-wheel drive which this is is very very rare and the chances of actually finding one are almost nil but Kevin started out with a uh, 72 frame shortened it and then started uh, picking up pieces here and there and ended up building this truck and it's it's absolutely an absolute beautiful beautiful truck I'd like to own it myself so let's take a look around and uh, I'll show you a couple of details one of the details I really really like about this truck is the uh, the grill trim and the headlight trim now that, these are all original, and we talked about it quite a bit, and the stuff you buy now is just anonized aluminum, it looks cheap. So Kevin actually took it in, and I think it's about $800 just to chrome these four pieces. But everybody comments on that. And then this, of course, is brand new, and the uh, the bumper is new as well. They do make a pretty good uh, reproduction bumper. Nothing fancy underneath the hood. Kevin likes everything to look original, to be original. Uh, there's a 350 with a uh, turbo 400, but just your basic stock 350, nothing fancy. And, but you know, underneath the hood, we made sure it looked just absolutely brand new. And, um, you know, it looks good in here, nice and clean. Needs a bit of a wash job, but it's nice and clean. So the interior is uh, mainly stock. Now the steering wheel is, well, not the steering, well, the steering wheel, that's a newer Chevy steering wheel. And the steering column is actually out of a van. That way you, it tilts. And uh, they fit in, they, they work great. Check out the, um, uh, the emergency brake handle. Just right there. You can see that a little bit better now. That's where it was on a 67. We got uh, original panels on the door. And the seat actually came out of a, a newer Chevy and works well. Be nice to have a little set of buckets in there, but you don't really notice that when you're driving down the road. Okay, the dash cluster, if you look at it, it looks a little different. It is actually out of a grain truck. And typically on a Chevy, you know, you're uh, Wipers are over on the other side, but over on the other side on this one is just a choke cable. I don't think he's got it hooked up, but you get the tack and it's just a fuller cluster. I don't know if it's got a clock in it or not. Well, it's got a vacuum as well. So that's a loaded, uh, that's a loaded dash. Now the, the box sides, these are uh, original box sides, but they came off a long box. So it's getting really, really hard to find original uh, tins for short boxes and any of these vehicles now. But what we did was we actually just, we cut out a section on the front and the back on both sides, welded, to, welded it together, and then I did all the body work and we got it all looking just beauty. Now, every tin on this truck is original except for the tailgate. 
the tailgate we bought new and we just uh, couldn't find one that was just perfect so we just went with a brand new one but the uh, inner tubs and all that kind of stuff that is all uh, original every tin on here is original doors original and we just went through them and uh, rebuilt them anything can be rebuilt but the box sides um, my actually Kevin's actually doing one to a Ford now where he's taken and shortened in as well but it's a good way of doing it if you don't want to go with the reproduction stuff and the reproduction stuff's getting not too bad now but you know when you can do it for nothing and uh, instead of you know buying parts then you can go ahead and do that but for the average guy new tins is probably the way to go you know you have to tweak them a little bit to make them fit but they do look good all right let's go around to the back here didn't want to go with the white lettering so we just we kept it the same looks good I actually found a chrome handle for the uh, tailgate and then we went with the uh, sport bumper so it doesn't have the big uh, you know farm uh, bumper on the back looks nice and clean regular um, stock tail lights uh, on my 71 I actually went with the LED and uh, they worked out pretty good but Kevin went stock he likes to keep it stock this truck's been outside for a couple of years now and we actually have the white oak uh, bedding with the stainless steel strips and I don't know Maybe somebody can tell me, you know, what kind of a finish would actually last without peeling off. But for some reason, it's just, it's tough to find that, uh, that finish. This is a, a marine varnish on here, and it's still peeled off. So maybe, maybe somebody out there give me a tip on what to put on this wood. So probably the biggest comment that we get on this truck is its color. And you know, even I've, I've gone to a couple shows and people are going like, wow, that is just, that's amazing. I love the color. Uh, we've got, it's kind of a, a brownie gold and we've got the off white on the uh, roof here. Now the color is a 69 to 70 Cadillac gold. And not really too sure what they call it, if they call it a gold or a tan. But it's very similar to the original color that they actually had for these back in the uh, uh, late 60s and 70s for these trucks. But it's a little nicer. It's a little bit richer and it just, it just fits the truck really, really well. And when you go with the tan, uh, you know, the options open up for you for the colors for your interior and, you know, your rims, your tires, everything. It's a really nice neutral color to go with if you want to uh, uh, customize. But on here, it looks absolutely beautiful. Looks good driving down the road, let me tell you. So Kevin went with the uh, Cooper uh, Discoverer AT3 tires. Um, actually, I bought a set of those for my truck. They're really nice. And the rims are off of a uh, an early 80 Chevy it's just a rally rim and they're tough to find too because they got the six bolt pattern on there nothing fancy just wanted to look as stock as possible and the thing is putting on the fancy fancy stuff you know it might make it look better but it doesn't drive any better dual exhaust popping out on each side sounds really good Well, I know it was a quick tour of uh, the 67 uh, Chevy, but it's going to start raining here pretty soon. And this, this build here, I'm very proud to be a part of it. You know, I learned a lot. My brother learned a lot. You know, um, just, just to lay down paint on a real cool vehicle is, is, is something else. Now, on a build like this, you know, Kevin said, I want something unique, something that not too many people have, 
and you just it's it's almost impossible to go out and buy a truck like this so don't be afraid to build one you know we've got a different frame we got parts from I don't know there's probably half a dozen different trucks in this thing and you can build whatever you want just take some time and a little bit of uh, imagination so thanks for watching the first episode of cool cars and I've got lots of stuff lined up some real cool stuff and uh, we'll get well well I got to get there before the snow flies so we're we'll bringing that to you real soon so thanks for watching and stay tuned